Good morning, everyone, at the Regina Academy at St. John the Baptist. I uh, hope everyone has stayed, is staying healthy and safe during this time. I missed all of you and miss all of you. Um, so I'm going to just send you um, a video about uh, Claude Monet. He was a French painter who started the Impressionist uh, movement in France. And behind me is actually a painting of his garden that was painted in um, Givenchy, where he's from in France. And this is a painting of the lily pond that's in his garden. Um, I'm going to read you a little bit from a book about him that actually it's called uh, Lena in Monet's Garden. And um, I'm just going to read you part of the book that has about the Japanese bridge because this painting was painted not far from where the Japanese bridge is. And this is... Um, the story of when Lena is in Monet's garden at the Japanese bridge. Finally, the Japanese bridge. After we looked at both the garden and the house, the best part was still to come, the lily pond. To get there, we had to cross the garden and go through a tunnel under the main road. Oh, look, Mr. Bloom, I cried, there's the Japanese bridge. And when at last we were standing on the bridge, it was so thrilling that there were tears in my eyes and Mr. Bloom's, I'm sure I saw a few. What was it I said, Miss, said Mr. Bloom? It was possible, that's right, now we're really here. I said, it could never be more than right now. If we don't come back another time, that is, says Mr. Bloom. We looked down at the water lilies, the red, the pink, and the white. Another plant of wisteria had grown on the bridge itself. I took a leap to press in my travel diary. Look there where the bamboo is growing, said Mr. Bloom. There it was, a little green boat. It looked almost like the picture in the museum. The Monet children used to go rowing in this pond. We saw some big fish swimming around in the water. Mr. Bloom said that they were carp. They helped to keep the pond clean by eating insects and plants. Let's say we can't look at the bridge until we've gone around to the other side, I said. Why, asked Mr. Bloom, so we can get our impression of the bridge just like Monet did. But by the time we got to the other side, all my impressions were gone and forgotten. A bird had flown by and a friendly man in a check jacket had said hello. And we looked at the wheel that opens the floodgate, letting the fresh water into the pond from the river Rue. Oh, well, I guess I wouldn't make much of an impressionist. Neither would I, said Mr. Bloom. But Monet practiced capturing impressions. Every day he studied his bridge. He discovered that it looked different depending on the time of day and the weather. It was the sunlight that made the difference. Monet painted many pictures of the bridge and none of them would be the same as the others. He would take several canvases with him painting a little on each as the sun rose higher in the sky. People thought he was strange painting the same bridge over and over again. When Monet was an old man, he got cataracts and became almost blind, but he kept on painting anyways. But his pictures were almost always all red. When finally he dared to let a uh, doctor operate on his eyes and then the colors 
return back to his paintings. I took out my sketchbook and decided to draw a one water lily. I thought it would be too hard to draw the whole pond with the clouds reflected on the water at the same time as the seaweed that was swaying under the water. My water lily turned out all right, but I wasn't really that satisfied with it. But Monet was never really satisfied with his pictures either. And here is a picture, a, pa a close up of Monet's painting of the some of his water lilies. Okay, and here is some pictures of more of where he lived in France. So, um, boys and girls, um, maybe this week you could try to draw something that is maybe in the room that you're in, or maybe in your backyard, you could draw a sketch of something that you um, have, um, that really is an impression upon you, something that you really like, whether it's a leaf or a tree, or maybe a tulip. And I hope that all of you, to see you all very soon, um, and God bless you, and I will um, be in touch uh, next week. God bless you all. Bye-bye.